All right, we back. Thank you, Minds Podcast. We got our special guest with us. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the Undertaker. Yeah, so if you watch part one, make sure that you, you know, like that and all that. This is part two. Um, make sure y'all watch the part one uh, first. Funny story about The Undertaker real quick. All okay. Right? okay. So when Ooh. I was a teenager, Ooh. I thought I was going you know, to get tattooed. You know, I'm going to get the Japanese symbol for Undertaker, right? Okay. So I've had this thing on my arm for all these years, and it is not the Japanese symbol for Undertaker. It's the wrestler. This is the wrestler. It's yeah. the Undertaker wrestler symbol. I found out about a year ago. Really? really? <laughs> you know, you know what's but amazing I got it, is? and it's right there. It's, it's right there. <laughs> really? But it's weird because a lot of people will get, like, Japanese things, or they will be like a, and they will find out later, it has nothing to do with what they think it is. Yeah. And, and, and I, first of all, I don't understand where they be, they be getting that wrong information from. Yeah. Right. Like, but yeah, it yeah. does happen. Like, yeah, yeah. Here, it happens a lot. I did it to myself, and I like, didn't know for 20-something yeah. years. So. Yeah. All right. So one, one thing that I like to talk about with, okay. with, with like, barrier and stuff, like, um, back home, if, if your family member died, right, and the way you show love or you care is tombstone. Right back home, like if God forbid, and my mother was to pass be before I got to see her, I probably build her a mansion like a White House, like a many white or white White House, like funeral home. I mean, I mean, tombstone. Uh, yeah, I've seen pictures. Y'all's yeah, tombstone because out there yeah, amazing. it matters. Like, it matters. Really. Like, but here you go. Every here, single tombstone is just a same block. Pretty much the same. Every single thing. Yeah. Back now, there, home, there are some awesome ones. Yeah, there are some. But but you get to see the people. You're like that person was a rich man. Or was some somebody that was a political person, like monuments, you bet. But back home, the tomb, you can build like a, a min is a miniature houses. Each yeah. one's that, unique. Yes. Right. And, and 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 you get to see how much your family loved you. Where I can how where much, I can walk in a cemetery but, now yeah, yeah. and they want a family's telling me to find a grave and they all look the same to me because it's all the same yeah. monuments. Yeah. And it's it's hard to find somebody. Yeah. And so Which it's very, very, very like a a uh, uh, cultural shock <coughs> here, like, and that's why I say like, I'm like the emotions. You don't even see that in the tombstones. And you don't get to tell like how much you care for this person. Like back back home, some some pe- that, people die. Would that be an afterlife and, type of thing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like you know, because, to think like I'm gonna do this because the ghost is going to be alive. But y'all, right? Make, All but the you person, make your stones to tell a story. Yes. Versus just having a name. But on. also, it's like a resting place. It's your forever re- resting place. Where you re- resting for the rest until eternity gets here, until God gets here, right? Or until the afterlife, whatever it is. Yeah. So, where you resting is just, when you just look, it's just a flat ground with a tombstone. Like, somebody can take up that stone and they, people wouldn't even know y'all, that you're there. Do y'all have That's graveyards yeah. over there, though? Like, oh, yes. Do y'all put them all in the same place? Yeah, yeah, Um, In the same, same place. But if you go, it's different structures built of graveyard. And you get to see, like, like here you get flowers, you know. But there, there are times that um, a woman will cook a full meal yeah. and go say, say it by his grave. His favorite meal, his, her husband's favorite meal, or her child's favorite, favorite meal. Like, the dad is like a... Because one, you believe that they are the one protecting you from the uh, other side, from other evil spirit. Like, you know how this whole voodoo thing is coming in America now with the Haitian and stuff. Mm-hmm. There, you need a spirit to be able to protect you from against from all of those from. things. Yeah, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. the kind of love that you show to that person, that person might be the one protecting you from all of these other people trying to yeah. do evil things to, to, to you and stuff. But see, with that being said, and we can jump into uh, what we was talking about off camera, is over here, there's a lot of uh, funeral home scams. Uh, Far as, you know, I seen a guy coming out saying that you don't need all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? The family, just say if um, the insurance check hits, uh, it was a big thing about a lot of the funeral homes was trying to, if you got $100,000 or, or $50,000, we want to try to use it all up, you know what I'm saying, type of deal. I've in never order. had a $50,000 funeral, you know, yeah. but, you know, I guess we could. Yeah, I mean. yeah. <laughs> What's the yeah. average that yeah. you I, see? I, I'd well, say average is probably, on my side, is like 7 to 10, somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay, yeah, that's and that's a wealthy person. I try to try and do, like, get that body. And that's, and a, I mean, now somewhere else that might be 15000 but. 
even the but casting's you, here. But you was talking about the vaults and different things like that. Like, like what's, right, so I could fill I could fill my casket room up with expensive caskets. Right. Okay. Yeah, my granddaddy had a barn wood casket. Right. And that's expensive casket. I think it's yeah. like five, six, seven thousand dollars. Yeah, and he was a know, poor farmer, so yeah. I don't know why he wanted to. Yeah. Buy so I don't. I don't keep any high end. Ca- I, I do it a little differently. Yeah. All right. So I've got that stuff in a book if they yeah. want that. But my theory is I'll show that to them if they ask about it. But I have stuff out there that's affordable, like where it's not going to break somebody's bank or put them in a financial bind. Or I, I just won't let people overspend. Right. Makes right. I do admit yeah. that back home. I'm not, a, I'm not a salesman, so. It's really huge. I can sell stuff, but when it comes to my business, I'm not a very good salesman. So you focus more on stuff. the trade itself, the other aspects of it. like I just try to help the people, man. Right. Yes, I've got to make a living, too. We all yeah. have to make a living, yeah, yeah. but I don't need to be ripping people off. Yeah, because yeah, what was that movie with Jamie Foxx in it? Uh, Jamie Foxx. He was the, the, the um, attorney, and the big-time corporation funeral home had came to the little town. And that when you said that made me think of that earlier, you're talking about the decline of funeral homes, and that's that might be what that statistic means. It's because yeah. there's corporations buying up funeral homes. Well, and yeah. like because the, yeah. the numbers was it was twenty one thousand and some change funeral homes. Like, but three, then you're also three years like ago, a little small town, not like Russellville per se, but like a even smaller towns than that that's got a couple of funeral homes. One of them probably won't be there forever. Because there's not enough business there, and nobody's moving there. They're moving out. Right, right. So, I mean, if there's nobody there, I mean, you, you, there's nobody to service. Yeah. Yeah. So, therefore, and then that they don't have anybody to take over that business. Say mm-hmm. the kid, they don't have do, a kid. Do you or think that, or, do or do they don't have that a the kid? Decline don't, in, the decline in religion might play into the decline in funeral practice. Because if people don't believe in the afterlife, well, then what you know, do they care with how they send When I was a kid, funerals were three days. Y'all, y'all probably remember that when you were younger. And you go to the funeral home, and it would be 300 flowers in there. Yeah. Now you go to the funeral home, there might be three flowers yeah. mm, and a few yeah. little trinkets to give somebody. But yeah. you just, it's changed. Yeah. And we don't, you see one day services now. You, you might have a two day where they have a visitation the night before and the next yeah. day. Yeah. But a lot of it's like the visitation is going to be from like nine in the morning until one o'clock, and the funeral's at one o'clock. They just want to get it done all in one day. You also don't get a lot of gray rub in here. Because of that, you know, no, you know and you there's no that. valuable that goes with I know, the um, person and stuff. I worked at a funeral home in Philly when I first got married to my wife because her family was up there. And it was on a big historical cemetery. And back in the olden days, they had grave robbers that would come and rob those graves. Yeah. But this cemetery, it was pretty awesome. It had 10 miles of blacktop road in it. And it had the people from the Titanic were buried there. Wow. Like the founder of Mother's Day was buried there. Uh, Stets and hats. It was just like all these famous people. It was right outside of Philadelphia, but it's a it's a really neat place. That's crazy. That's what, crazy. What, like, what would you so, say? That, go ahead. No, I was going to touch on what you was talking about about different um, um, cultures. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty I, sure you, you deal to, with all different cultures. Oh, for sure. Just like, say Bosnian. Um, I mean, some like religions that. are going to be, they don't want him bombed. I mean, it's against their, it's against their rules. Like I, I've, 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 I do that now. There's a couple of families that I have dealt with that they, they don't believe in it. So we have to bury that person pretty quickly because unless you're going to store them in the refrigeration, nature takes its yeah, course. Yeah, nature take over quick. Why, why is it that, and I was, I was and That's the I big want, thing I explained to people is like, if they want to wait, if they want to see somebody, but they don't want him bombing and they want to wait a few days, it's probably not going to be a good outcome. Right. Because- we all know an animal yeah. on the side of the road. It does yeah. what it does. What what do, what is where did preserving the body come from? Because like we was talking earlier, like and it goes so, all the way so, back to like the Egyptians. So, but so the Plains Indians, what they did was they they wrapped their dead in a buffalo blanket and they would hoist them up on a scaffold and they would leave them there for about a year to two years and they would put them up on the scaffold so they didn't get drug off by predators, coyotes, or whatever. And then they would double back in about a year or two. And they would take their body, no embalming or whatever, and they would put it into the ground as a natural decomposition. Mm-hmm. But as far as like the Anglo Saxon culture, we preserve our dead. We even put them in metal caskets, and that kind of interferes with the natural decomposition. Correct. Like, where does that stem from? Like, wh- why do we preserve our dead like that instead of just because letting Because I think people wanted a, a way to um, have time with the dead before they're buried, to spend it. I, feel, I see people a lot of times. I see a lot of guilt. Mm. You, you go to the funeral home. You see people yeah. come there, and 
they, they, they had that guilt because they haven't been around that person. Mm-hmm. They hadn't gone and seen them. So I think that it comes to that. It goes back and back and back into the years. People needed that time and that closure. I can't yeah. understand that. I can understand yeah. why we kind of do it. And, and, and yeah, and, I mean, you can come up with a lot of and things, we still look I think at, that's the core of it. We yeah. still look at that body, that corpse, as that person. Like, we don't want to put them in the ground and let the worms have them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, we no, want to save them from that, right? Yeah, and but, you think back in the days, like, just say my family or your family, we all grew up on the same block and stuff like that. Now we're just too busy. Like, you know. You don't uh, even know who's on the block anymore. Yeah, right? we work in. I ain't sad. seen my yeah. mom in this long, my dad in this long, my brothers. You know, and then, bam, you get the phone call. And he's like, damn, I stay way in Michigan somewhere. and that's right. A lot of times that's the only time people get together is during funerals. Hey, I, right? this, you I see mean, people the, you hadn't seen in forever. I mean, I see that all the time. And that's why, like like we talked about earlier, that's why I built my place different. That way people got a place they can gather and they don't feel they're in the haunted house and yeah. <laughs> yeah. whatever it might yeah. be. Because yeah. I've been in some, I've been in a lot of funeral homes and I mean, there's some nice ones out there and there's some that are pretty creepy, man. Yeah. I always, I got But that's just because they didn't, they didn't keep up with times and they didn't remodel and modernize. They just kept it what it was 50 years ago. And yeah. you can't do that. But also, um, so... I touched on technology a little bit. Um, with technology speeding up, do you see a drastic change that could happen in your business? As far as what do y'all do with the body? Like the bodies could come in and they could do something with technology to. I mean, we do, do something with we the body. We do use technology more than we used to. Like now, a big thing is uh, people get the thumbprint and they get it made on a necklace or a piece of jewelry or whatever the case might be. I got an electronic scanner. I take that thumbprint, put it in a file, you know, mm-hmm. um, as far as like live streaming, you got technology with that. But as far as like technology with like running the body through something and it does something. And I, I'm not saying it say, won't happen, but I don't yeah. know of anything like that yet, but I could, I mean, the way the future is and the way yeah. electronics and stuff is, I'm not going to say it's not possible. Yeah. Do we, to do, do we preserve bodies here? Like, like the Egyptian used to animal? No, I would I would say what what embalming here. If you look up the definition, like when you go to mortuary school, it's a temporary preservation. So what you're doing is you're slowing down that natural process. Yeah, that's all you're doing. Yeah. So the Egyptian real world just aliens living among us. So do it <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were ahead of a lot of they things. Were yeah. Yeah. Like it, it's pretty amazing. So. Yeah. Huh. It does. <laughs> I don't know. It makes you think like. <laughs> yeah, it does. It makes you right. think like, what in the world were they like thinking about their afterlife? Whenever they were like, this body has to live through generations. Because I don't know how they came up with their concoction of spices and all that kind of and stuff. All those and things, it yeah. works so well. Yeah. So, man, yeah, it's pretty impressive. I so. Yeah, they how were. How, they much were you, how much did you like study about that? About that, did you all? I mean, I did in mortuary school, but I haven't. So they still taught that. Yes, in mortuary you learn school. a lot of that stuff, but you don't. Go, they don't go into great detail about it, but you do learn the history. Really? Yes. Wow. Wow. I it guess tra- it is not just like, oh, but we, as far as like it's like any other bodies. school, mortuary school, you're not going to learn how to embalm a body unless you're in that embalming room. Really? I mean, you. You don't get like like a test hand. hand I mean, on. you get hand wrist and test, but I mean that that doesn't to me that doesn't teach you because you can have, you can be book smart, but you may not be able to get back there and do. Yeah, what you ain't no do. way because every single person's different. Every case is different. Yeah, and you pretty much got to have on site training, like like you said, like because yeah. they don't might, have like it might look good on paper, t- but it might not work out when. Now, it comes I'm not going to gonna say that. I've got my actually embalming book from mortuary school it's in my embalming room if i've got to do something and i can't remember that i hadn't done it in years i might go over there that book and flip it open just to jog my memory what about done that before what what's the difference between like a lame person and a obese person what do you have to do special about people that are obese you know does, does those fat just go so do you all right way? so here's a good question for y'all you think of uh, an obese person do you think their arteries would be bigger no because yeah, I would think no, so. Maybe because, shrunken. No, it's very small because it's tiny. Too much yeah, fat. Yeah, yeah. Like, too much the fat. Because their blood flow. That, that, yeah. That's why yeah. they, I mean, even if they are alive, it's hard for them to breathe. Wow. You know, and, and they, 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 
they get they get fatigue very fast because yeah, I mean, I, I've seen the blood flow is very, very like slow. some half the size. It's, yeah. it's yeah. strange to me. Even though you say they're not, then, I would think that they are because of being stopped up. And a bigger person's harder to work you know what on I'm saying? because you got to go through more layers. With but, a lot of grease and stuff. Like uh, yes, like yeah. I would yeah. like I mean, grease. Yeah, I would like, think it would. Yeah, yeah. I, I well, it's, quick. Not. it's not but, because yeah. what about age? Athletes too, have like, bigger arteries. Age doesn't bother me. I've never had a problem. I mean, use universal precautions. That's what they tell you. Just like at the hospital, so you treat everybody like they got the worst. Yeah. You know Does the disease? So if you go back there and you put on your ventilation system and you put on the the gown and your mask and your gloves and you've done everything like you're supposed to, you're you're not gonna catch anything. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. But like the air system and that embalming room, you flip that on. I think OSHA requires it's either eleven or twelve times an hour that the chain the air has to be exchanged in that room. So I've got mine set up it does it twenty eight times an hour. So when that thing's on, it's pumping air in and sucking it out three different levels over there. So when you're doing those chemicals, it's just flowing right out and you're not breathing them up your nose. So do you, I mean, about the obese, do you clean out the fat or do you just, does it just stay in the body? The you just have to work through it and, I, and it is hard sometimes. Really? Yeah, because like if you think a hundred pound person and you're going in there to find an artery. Yeah, you're going to find you're it gonna, You're going to go and find it pretty easy. Yeah. You've got an 800 pound person, you've got to go through layers. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, it's it's a lot of work. Yeah. Do you, does the price of that changes? For you, I mean, no, I mean, there. The only time that you get charged for more for an embalming or something like that is if it's an autopsy case because there's a whole lot more involved. Yeah, this is this is a crazy question. Might be funny. Um, does a person use the whole suit? Does it? <laughs> because I've heard. Does the person use the whole suit? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes I put shoes. Depends. Yeah. Like you do, but. Maybe not every. Maybe not home everybody does, else. Right? They usually say like I mean, the back I, is cut I open. I usually tell the, them to bring me everything, just like they were going out on the on the town, like yeah. their drawers, their underwear, undershirts, socks, shoes, what whatever they were going to go out on, bring it, and that we'll do that. Now I will say nine. I'd say ninety percent of the time that I do dress somebody, I do cut the back of it. Okay. Because if you're gonna, see, all right, you got somebody laying there three hundred pounds. And you've got a shirt, and unfortunately, a lot of times they'll bring you a shirt that that person hadn't worn in a long time. Mm -hmm. So it could be small, it could be big. It's going to be one of the two. Yeah. So you've got to work with that to make it work. But also, how are you going to get that shirt on that person by yourself? There, there ain't no physical possible um, way you can do that. Right. <laughs> and that's what thing I uh, uh, <laughs> got to see was leakage, uh, leakage of the body. Uh, far as I guess after it's embalmed, there wouldn't it would be. You're not going to have like all right. So for instance, like if someone is donation. Or they've had a really bad car wreck, and they've had all kinds of lacerations and incisions on them, and they're going to have leaks, so you, you've got suits that you can put on them. Or if they've got a really bad arm or something, you can put a sleeve on them, and it's got vel or like a Velcro on the each end of it, so okay. it's going to keep anything that comes out in there so okay. it doesn't get Ooh, on the clothes really? and stuff like that. Yeah. And but, but then you also warmed our family, like, hey. Yeah, and something like that, we fast. had to do this. Yeah, we got to do, yeah. do this quick. Because, I mean, of course, when you put a – a full body suit on them that's plastic, it's going to make them look a lot bigger than they are because that thing's not, it's not tight. It's mm -hmm. loose. Yeah. yeah. And it's made to catch things if things go south. So, and then you go put clothes over on top of that, you're going to have to tell them what you're doing. Cause oh, they're gonna so think they're you have right. a body suit on them and then you have clothes on them. Mm -hmm. Copy. I, yep. see. I see. Yeah. That way, nothing would leak on the Yeah, nothing would actually like leaking like in it. And the the eyes, I watched the thing about Caps. the eyes. I know you asked me that earlier. I didn't yeah. say that. But that's how I close the eyes. It's a plastic eye cap. So you just place it on there, and it has these little ridges. And when I just, I'll just take, like, some my hand or uh, some tweezers or something and just pull that eyelid, and it'll just stay on there. Yeah. Because they said that's, that's, that would be the worst thing to happen, I guess, during a funeral is the eyes start leaking. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't be good. Anything start like, leaking during a funeral ain't good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. But I mean, I'm not gonna say it won't happen because there there's circum there's circumstances that you can only do what you can do. Yeah. And you can give it your all and you still can't get it the way you want it. But do you do you eat steak fine? You don't worry about it. steak and you can go out and eat a steak, everything yeah. is fine. You know, it I I, I mean I bro, one listen, night. because yeah. This is the thing that I think think about. You are working yeah. with, with these kind of things every day. Like like a doctor and I go in and have a Open heart surgery and then he goes to Tony's and he's 
eating steak. And I'm like, <laughs> like, what kind of human being are you? Bro? Like, you understand, right? Like, yeah. nothing is in your head like, huh. Like, pretty much the, so, I mean, it's a tough job, man. You know, you're yeah. talking about, like, people getting into this business. I had a young man that, that wanted to kind of get into this. He, he a few years ago. So he started working with me, helping on visitations and funerals. And then I said, do you want to help him bomb a body? He's like, oh, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> we go back there. And about halfway through, and I mean, bomb is not that much to it. It's not what people think. It, like it's really is it not. an older man, woman, what? older man, simple case. Like couldn't get any easier. Just in and out. And about halfway through, he's like, "Mr. Kirby, I'm getting a little lightheaded." I said, "Go sit down." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After that, he quit. He didn't come back. So. Yeah. No, I so, that. And so, it was an easy case, but hey, it just wasn't for him. So would you say? But like he didn't a, grow up in it like no, you did, no, right? No. He just all his life thought it. He thought he wanted to do that. And then once he actually maybe because it was taboo for him, and maybe that's just something that he wanted to see if he could do or right. something. Right, and, and that changed his mind, which that's good because right. now he yeah. can go do something that he needs to do. Yeah, yeah. But better and that's to find what, out now. And that's what I was going to say too on not the recruitment process, but trying if a kid was interested uh, into getting because there's no like information, I guess, like at school. I've had a couple parents call stuff me like that. that. You know, hey, our child's interested. And that's like have him come over and talk to me one day. Yeah. Sit and talk to me, and if they're really interested, come around, hang around for a day, and follow me around. Yeah, let me show is it, you. Some is it something that you think that I ain't gonna say that they should do, but is it something that maybe should more light should be shined on it that this is a career? It is, but I'll tell you why people don't get into it because you're on call twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. Really, I didn't go on vacation. There was no day off. I didn't there? go on a vacation until this past June for four years because I opened that business. Well, up and, and for I people, leave. for for somebody that hasn't, because you got a lot of experience in it, man. Like I said, you grew up in it. For people that jump into it, you got to wake up at two thirty in the morning and go handle a dead body. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody. To me, it's cuts, natural. Yeah. I mean, my phone to rings. You, I jump natural. up like a ninja yeah. and I get dressed and I go. That's just but for I, somebody else. They may not hear that, that phone ring. It might be a struggle. Yeah. And that's usually when it happens. I mean, it's, it, unfortunately, it don't happen during your eight to five work And day. y'all pick right. up the body from the scene. Mm -hmm. Whether it be the, well, yeah, wherever it might be, just wherever it happened, yeah. wherever they call us from. And then I like to embalm when I get the person. So I don't let them, I don't take them back there and sit them there overnight. Right, because it will that. obviously it'd be just, easier, in right? In my mind, it's just better for me. I'm already up anyways. I go ahead and I'm I'm already focused. Let's get it done and do it then. That's what what man? And this is might be like a. What's the energy like when you get a dead body? I got a uh, what's it called? An ion boom. You know what I'm talking about? One of them portable PA boom box things. I got that back there, and I jam out, man. Jam it yeah. out. Yeah, really. What are you playing yeah. on it? I well, I will. Different NBA young boy. <laughs> <laughs> My playlist will scare a person. I'll just tell you right now. It goes, it goes Man, all Halloween over music. Again. <laughs> Man, Halloween Jason music. coming. Yeah. Yeah. Not that. I mean, I'm just saying it might be rap. It might be uh, a song from church. I, it goes all over the place. My music does. So. Yeah. I like it all, man. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. So it's a family. But I do. Uh, I turn the music on and I get focused. Do you think? Nine times out of ten, do my thing. And, and you said you have four kids. You yes. think any of your sons going to go into it? It's hard to say. But I, I, I don't want to force any of my kids anything. If they want to do it, I'm all for it. But if they don't, that's fine, too. Yep. Have uh, they shown any interest yet? Yeah. I like my son that's in high school. He helps right now. Yeah. He, he helps? helps. Yeah, Man. on the weekends and stuff. He's he's got his license, and I don't, you know, he's got to earn that gas money. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the easiest job. Yeah. I mean, family work always is. Yep. Yep. A good place I guess to uh, before we get out of here, uh, what else do you do or like to do besides? Yeah, mortuary work. Is it anything? Do you play golf? Do you you know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't play golf. Like I fly airplanes a little bit. Really? Yeah, I got my pilot's license. Is that what you do to take your mind off? You said you broke your back. Yeah, I broke my back skydiving. I used to race uh, go karts. I had these uh, outlaw go karts with like turbos and stuff on them. It's kind of wild. Uh huh. Uh, I like going to the lake, but right now in life, it's uh, all about the kids, man. They're all in these sports, and that's man, pretty much what we do. That is time consuming. I you know, guarantee I mean, it's, it. Titans fan. Yeah, the Titans fan. Oh, Try to go to as much of them as we can, oh, but it's man. not looking good this year right now. The Titans died. It's only week two, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's only week Titans two. It's been a rough two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> They'll come around, though. Well, how'd, how'd you break your back? So I skydived. I got my oldest son for his um, graduation present from high school. He wanted me to take him skydiving. I was like, mm. oh, yeah, we'll go. Because I went when I was younger. 
So we went down to Tullahoma, Tennessee, jumped. And while we were there, I went ahead and booked me a class the next week to go get my license so I could do it on my own because I always wanted to do it. So I started jumping on my own, going through all the classes, doing, I think most of the time it's like 14,000 foot. I think is what we jumped from. Do flips and spins and stuff and then checking off all this stuff on the list to get my solo license. And I was coming in on the landing and I didn't want to land on the blacktop, so I flared the parachute too soon. And when I did, I just dropped like 15 foot and landed on my back. On my butt and broke two places in my back. Oh, my Lord. Mm. Yeah, it's rough. Ooh, I, I had another question I wanted to what's ask What's even so. crazier about that, this is what's crazy, is I had a funeral the next day. So I get this broken back, and I don't think it's broke, so I'm trying to be tough because my wife tells me if I if I break something or hurt something, I'm skydiving, I can't do it anymore. So I'm, you know, I, I'm yeah, tough. Yeah, I'm, like, no, I'm good. I'm just going to go to the chiropractor. Yeah. I'll be all right. Just try to uh, eat some that night. So I go to the funeral home. And, uh, my funeral home is up in Providence, Kentucky. So I drive my hour and 45 minutes up there, and I get there, and every single person I have that works for me calls off, and I've got a funeral. Oh, my gosh. So, what a day. And I've got my back. I mean, I am hurting. So yeah. I go in the refrigerator in the in the lounge. And and you can't sec- do nothing if you back. No, and my secretary yeah. had some frozen pizzas in there. So I'd get one of them frozen pizzas and I'd shove it down in my in my suit. And when it thaw out, I'd go 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 throw it away and get me another one. And that's what I did all day long. To oh work my god! <laughs> oh. yeah. She come to work like where'd all my pizzas go? I'm like long. <laughs> <story."> <laughs> And I went to the doctor the next yeah. day and found out yeah, I had those, broke it in two places. Those pizzas had crack yeah. on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did, for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up, Boy, man. Anything, us. y'all? Yeah, you said that uh, <laughs> what you've been all around with this funeral business. You, you grew up down south or the gateway to the south, Kentucky, but you said you spent some time in Philly. You ran a funeral home up there. Different world. Is there any differences in the funeral like the services, the way people handle it down south as the east coast. Man, there's difference. There's there's difference in each town in the, in Kentucky, honestly. Because mm-hmm. you got in Kentucky, we got so many different religions moving here. I mean, even in Bowling Green area, we got there's no telling how many different types of religions here. So all those come into effect, and then that's going to change the way burials done because it's not your typical traditional southern funeral, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You, we don't really have that anymore. Have you done Africans? Mm-hmm. Some Africans, yeah. What's yeah. that that like here? Cause I'm, I don't think I've been to any African funeral. It's been a while, but we've had some out at the Lovers Lane funeral home here, and then I used to bury quite a few black people at my Providence location. And, and a black funeral and a white funeral is different. That's what I was oh, going to yeah, say yeah, too. Yeah, does yeah. does yeah. race? It's not it's not a racist thing, but no. black, black black people celebrate a life, man. Yeah, 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 yeah they yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. But does race play a part with like embalming? Because like, just say like if. I go in and I'm dark. Yeah, I don't want to make you pink. Yeah, you don't want to make me light. Like, <laughs> right. so does that take a little bit more effort? Like, yeah. or even being white, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you don't want to be we dark. Like, dark, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, 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 the you purple all, at the like, damn. Purple yeah, yeah we turn I'm trying blue. to make people look as natural as possible because a man don't wear makeup. Mm-hmm. So you don't need to be going in there covering somebody, uh, some man with makeup to make it look right. 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 Snapchat it, filter. Right. So, not, so, and the way you keep that tone is a chem- chemical? Mm hmm. Really? Chemical and cosmetics. Yeah, and I know you talked about this before you started. We started, and you said that you, if somebody cheek was to go in, you can bring that cheek kind of back mm-hmm. alive, right? And basically, it's a tissue builder. So really? it's, I take a, a, a needle and a syringe and put some of that in there, and it's basically like, like you would, Botox or yeah, something. So Botox, that's I'm what gonna these say. chicks are going and getting their lips or their whatever. A BBL. Uh, is yeah. that a same thing? I guess I'm going to ask is that a BBL? That is it's pretty I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much doing BBL. the same. Oh, my and gosh. Don't really? hit him up for no BBL. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't yeah. doing no, that on the side. I don't have a side business, just to get that clear. So people are pretty much out here filling themselves with dead fluid. Pretty much to but I buy it from my embalming companies. It's called Tissue Builder, and I can literally, like, take that and go in there, and it's going to fill that out, and I can push on and, and make it look normal again. Oh, my gosh. It's, yeah. it's amazing, honestly. That changes everything. It's crazy. I'm crazy. Nah, I am hoping that with any girl that got a yep. fake lip anymore. But, like, so we, 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 we get into social differences and issues here. We speak freely. What are the differences in a white funeral and a traditional black funeral? That you've that about you've, two hours. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Big facts. I was gonna say two days. <laughs> the well, chicken, that is true. One the, of, the chicken. The, the white funeral is gonna be two to three days from now, and the black funeral is gonna be 
Next Saturday or the Saturday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. White people insurance probably go through a lot faster. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? We got to have a fish fry. (laughs) Like I said, but they... That's the biggest difference is they it's sell, whole, they, they whole, go, whole it's more of a celebration. Yes. Yeah, they go all out. Yes, yeah. it's it's set up. Yeah. And so, why do you think that is though? Why is it that especially? Uh, and listen, why me do you personally, think, I well, think a lot of people need to learn. I've, I've, seen, I've seen black funerals where they released uh, white doves. Oh yeah, at, I've at seen the, that. At the yep. cemetery, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, and I never saw that. You know, but look, I'm gonna tell you something from kind of my perspective, and this goes back to the the scam. Stuff I was talking about, a lot of black people had started coming out saying, look, that's a shame that we're living in the projects and we're having $20,000 funerals. Oh, you know I what agree. I'm saying? I agree. They're getting, so, they're, so it's, they're getting taken advantage of by somebody. Right. So it, somebody it comes to a point of like our insurance policies ain't that big a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? $10,000 is usually the regular um, insurance policy in my community. And I, you know? would you liken and that everybody to everybody in mind? What the thing to do is like, yeah, you know, give me a car and say, Hey, it's honestly crazy. How many people don't have insurance too? Right. But, but so you spent some time in West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Some of the poorest white people in America live in West Virginia. Yeah. You know I'm saying very so true. Would you see a similarity there as far as? Yeah. Cause the funeral yeah. homes, like it just, uh, it depends on how they package things, man. It's what you push towards people. I mean, they're going to buy what you have in yeah. there. Yeah, because they want the best. Because like what you're saying, it so if I go, look good, if, if I my got mama twenty ain't caskets, got, yeah, yeah, I got twenty. All right, I know, I know a funeral director. I'll never say his name. Friend of mine, well, sorta, of. but anyways, his philosophy is his his his. He owns a funeral home, and his philosophy is he's got he's got casket in there. I think it's fifty thousand dollars. When it's thirty thousand, all gold. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, no. whatever you Once can imagine. Again. But he don't have anything, and, he, and I said, Where, "Where's your less expensive stuff? It's in a book in there. If they can't get if they can't afford any of this, I'll get my book out and do them a favor, and show them the lesser expensive stuff." I kind of think the opposite. Yeah, like I'd rather have this stuff in there because I'll ask a family, "The last funeral you went to, tell me about it. Mm-hmm. Tell me what the casket looked like." Um, it was gray. Yeah. I said, "Was it a two thousand dollar gray one or a twenty thousand dollar gray one?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nobody they can't tell the difference, yeah. and, can and, they? And they can't, they can't tell, tell the difference. You yeah, can buy them from Walmart now, um, yeah, I mean, coffins and stuff like. I'm sure Amazon can deliver you one. Yeah, yeah. if you need to, like, uh, you can buy anything Team on the internet. That casket fall apart at the funeral. Dude, just be laying in there. He's like, "Damn, a team, you get one, it won't even hold a peppermint in it when you get it. It be this big, they have a foot in it. It matters because once again, like you know how I talk about graves, cast it. I like big deals, you know, like the kind of cast that we bury it in, the the sheet, like the bad bedding. You see, like here, like here a, in America, like the casket, they cover it with flowers. So, really, yeah. it doesn't matter yeah. as far as that goes. I mean, you got 20-gauge caskets, you got 18-gauge caskets. The only difference in them is the thickness of the metal. The 18 is a little thicker than the 20. Then you go to, like, stainless steel, bronze, copper, and all that stuff, and you're just paying for the nicer metal. Is there, but it's not going to outlast anything. Is it is it allowed to go in the ground without one? Bodies, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back home, that means you're very poor. Yeah, <laughs> like the like 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 the family talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like the, the box, the yeah. just the wooden box with two by fours. You in sleep- cover you. You are like you yeah. in a sleeping bag. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> like you are not loved. Nothing is happening. Put him yeah, in a sleeping yeah. bag. You went shit. You yeah. went shit in <laughs> like, real life. That's a sad so deal, there. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Hey, I had a funeral. This this is kind of crazy. I had a funeral one time. The lady said, "I guarantee you, nobody comes to my husband's funeral." And I was like, "No, there's no way." And, and it she didn't? went. No, the preacher came and she came and that was it. Oh was my lord! Crazy. She Ooh. said nobody liked it. I said, I'll be, I, I guess that. He I guess everybody. Right. He owed everybody. Kind of, yeah, that kind of I went sit race. next to her because I felt bad. Like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, and you know it's yeah. bad whenever the, and the mortician is the one that's coming to a kind of terror. But people say funeral. crazy things. Like, I, I had a lady come in one time, and I, I said, I'm sorry about your husband. And she goes, I'm not. Last night was the best night's sleep I had since <laughs> oh, I met that my gosh, yeah. And I'm like, once again, she was just joking, you know. Once, but no, I'm like, <laughs> once again, it's, it's those, like, they are in a better place. You should, you, should hear the, you should hear the things where people have asked me where to put their cremated remains. Like, my God. Yeah, people. They just come. I want to be crazy space, stuff. Bro. Yeah, space. I want. I, I want to be like Tesla car. You know, with the where, where he shoots you. There's a company space. that makes. They can put you in a firework. They can uh, make you into stained glass. They can make you into diamond rings. I didn't heard diamond uh, rings. Man, yeah. Wait, made, what does that mean? 
They'll take your cremated ashes. Oh, yeah, and, and put, it, put in it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, anything you can think of. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind that if somebody get cremated. Firework like, kind of cracks me up, though, because crazy. the purpose of that one, the only thing I can come up with, if you're just not sure if you're going to get there or not, you, you can almost get there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like trying. Be <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. bad, but. <laughs> got you. <laughs> so close. Damn. Yeah. It'd kind of be yeah. shitty for him, but. <laughs> yeah, so that is. Y'all got everything? No, I'm good with that. All right, so this is Thinking Minds Podcast. Uh, we appreciate you for coming through. Yes, sir. Very interesting podcast. Went great. Uh, we'd like to have you back, too. You All know, right. maybe come do a traveling podcast with us. Podcast. I, I was thinking about it. He the, said, he said, if y'all want, want to know. He got I'm an area for us. You yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, we can do that. We yeah. can kind of just walk through there, kind of. You know, see how he does things. Give me time to set up the haunted. Uh, yeah, make sure house. that we don't. Yeah, have <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't yeah. have to see the face other than like that. No, no, you know, no. yeah, but I you just got to see the pro- can, yeah. process of things. That kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Be, be and, pretty and, cool. and I do think that we have to kind of take a traveling man power podcast soon. I think we are yeah, at that point that, that, that we have yeah, lit. We're out of the hot weather. We're we are actually at that point that we have done enough. You know traction on our feet that I wish you would get out of the studio a bit and go see some something out there, you know. Sure enough. Yeah. So we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, you got anything you want to say to me? I would like to say that I know you enjoyed this episode, so go ahead and click that like button right now and that follow button. Every single thing you do help literally with this studio and the growth of this show. And we want to bring more guests like him and even bigger guests, you know. Um, so please go go ahead, like and follow and share. Thank, thank you. Thank hey, you hey, hey, check it out. Kirby. Yes. Where can they follow you, you know, at? Uh, yeah, yeah, information. Uh, you can look up Kirby Funeral Services on Facebook or KirbyFuneralServices.com or just look up Justin Kirby and you'll see my. It, hey, I'll uh, say, if, hey, if nothing else, you gained a client today. Oh, my God. Hey, 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 no, hopefully like, it's like, a long time from now. Yeah, hey, let it be known. Time. Let it be known on the record. If he outlives me, that's who dressing me I to impress. All right. yeah, most definitely. And I'll be covering your feet. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> You're going to burn me down, though. Yeah, right? yeah. You're going to burn me down. I'm going to die with my socks I've on. I've been shot in the space, so it's okay. You don't have to worry about that. No. Hopefully, right. hopefully, at that time, Elon Musk have, have already found a way to let off his spaceship and then we have a stop big and let me out. No, no. I want my casting <laughs> to be, be let off in camera. space, bro. I keep saying this. Listen, I don't care what it is. I don't want, I don't want to be buried on this earth, yeah. right? I don't want to be criminal. I, don't, I want a spaceship. Like I'm pretty sure that Jeff Be- Be- Bezos will get a, 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 a goose on yeah. the spaceship being sent up. <laughs> I would be one, one of those that when when they go there, like okay, we we have to stop and let and let him out no, right here. The and only just, rocket, the only let rocket Mentos going on is a bottle rocket. <laughs> Think of mine's podcast. <laughs> That's whatever.